Hello and welcome to another episode of Todd in My Kitchen. Today we find ourselves at Pat Connolly Tavern right here in Dogtown at the corner of Oakland and Tam. And I'm with Jay, who's the GM and chef. And Jay, uh, thanks for having us in. Yeah, thanks for being here. Um, I'm uh, super excited because we are going to do two things today. We're going to do a chicken sandwich and a cocktail. Um, but before we get into that, let's first talk about this place. How long has it been around? Um, going on 80 years this year. Um, dates back to 1942 when Pat Connolly opened it. Uh, coming over from Ireland. Holy cow, 80 years. So that's a big celebration you've got coming up. Um, let's talk about what all happens here. You've got food, you've got drink. It's kind of an Irish theme. Um, what else happens? Um, obviously, St. Patrick's Day is big every year. We have a big parade goes by. Having some good, good pub food that's a couple of steps up from what you'd expect, but always approachable. Um, and then we've got a great cocktail program, just leaning into the classics and doing some stuff that's interesting. But again, anybody's going to be able to come in here and find something they want to drink, eat, and uh, have a good time with. That's awesome. You guys have a great location right here. You're across from the zoo, right across from the turtles. Um, so right here at the corner of Oakland and Tam. What, what's this sandwich that we're going to do? And is it, is it pretty popular on your menu? Um, it is. This is the, uh, the number one seller on our menu is okay. our uh, Pat's Crispy Chicken Sandwich. Okay. Um, real simple. We've got a great onion bun. Um, some crispy fried chicken with some secret spices and herbs, Swiss cheese, some of our house-made coleslaw, um, crispy onions, and then a peat smoked ma mayonnaise that we make here in house. Okay, um, you just gave us a lot. Layer yeah, it's it. all right here. It's all um, here. I would just want to hit real quick on the crispy fried chicken. You said something about seasoning. Is this seasoning on the chicken or is it in the batter? Uh, it's in the batter there. Okay. So uh, you know we're we're well known for our fried chicken. This is kind of riffing off of what we normally do with our with our four-piece fried chicken, turning it into a sandwich, a little bit easier to eat, a little uh, little less food and. Okay, well, let, let's easy show our go, viewers so. how we're going to make this then. Yes, we just okay. got our bun, easy enough. Onion bun, is this toasted? Yep, it oh, is. Let's, let's yeah. A little butter a, on A decent too. amount of butter there. Decent amount of butter, um, love that. Butter's good, and then uh, we got that smoked mayonnaise okay. right there on both sides. Now, how do you smoke it? Um, so we actually bought some peat from Ireland, turn on the smoker, um, throw in some pans of oil and just let it go for a couple hours. It picks up that nice kind of scotchy smoke smell to it, but nothing too crazy. Okay. Um, some garlic, lemon juice, and... Uh, just turn into mayonnaise. And does that look good so far? Uh, better than mine. You probably so, can't uh, go too much. You're doing all right. <laughs> cool. Um, got our house-made coleslaw. Nothing too crazy. Just a little uh, you know, cabbage vinegar. Does that vinegar go on the top bun or bottom bun? bun? That'll go on the bottom bun. On there. the bottom. Let me make sure I'm doing if you, it right. If you put bottom, it on the top, it'll probably taste the same. But bottom bun you know. on the right. I'm going to tell you a funny story. When I was a kid, my mom made me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and she gave it to me, and the peanut butter was on top, and I started crying because I wanted a peanut butter on the bottom. And she goes, she turned upside down and goes, here you go, you big baby. <laughs> Thanks, Mom, for that. All right, I'm glad to get that off my chest. All right. Well, at least so you've got the peanut butter on the right side. Yes, though. that's right. Cool. Um, and then we've got our chicken, a couple okay. of... A couple of uh, pieces of dark meat there. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're flavorful. doing two? We're this doing two. This is like a, a Big Mac of chicken sandwiches. Holy cow. Well, we didn't, we didn't want to mess around, so... Uh, okay. I mean, and then last thing we're doing, just a few of those crispy onions there. Um, this thing is massive. I thought we were just showing the other two chicken for uh, how much you Oh, you just slopped that all over there, right? Yeah. The more the more, the merrier. Oh, my gosh. And that way you've got something to eat, you know, after the sandwich is done. Hey, look, my top is on top, which is key, the top right? Top goes on top. Poke this through. You know, so that when you're bringing it out, it, it doesn't fall all over this the place. This is your number one seller. This is our number one seller. Uh, how? By, by far. This is probably also the number one to-go box, too. Uh, just about the fried chicken just nudges it out. Okay. It's a Sunday night, you know, you get some fried chicken to go is the Okay, well, is the what, big we're, one, what we're getting ready to do here is we're going to take a bite in a second, but before we do, um, what other things are popular on the menu? You said the fried chicken, you've got this crispy chicken sandwich, what else? Um, we've got a really good um, kind of signature burger, call it, we call it the Duchess Burger. It's got mm -hmm. um, our house made pub cheese, fried pickles, a little chipotle sauce on there, and uh, pickled jalapenos. Um, also oh, really good. Delicious. Uh, we've got some good vegetarian options. Like we can do this with a fried portobello. Mm -hmm. um, we've got uh, St. Louis made, um, you know, burger patty for that other one. Uh -huh. Talk about your that. brunch real, real quick. What all do you guys serve for brunch? Oh, man. Um, let's see. So our, our most popular stuff is going to be our uh, biscuits and gravy. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a house made chicken sausage that goes into that gravy that's really tasty. Mm -hmm. um, you know, fried egg and some good sides on there. Um, and then my favorite is our veggie cake benedict actually. So we get, take some oh. fresh vegetables, make some uh, biscuits. Little veggie patty on there, poached eggs, lemon hollandaise, and then a uh, smoked tomato sauce over the top of that. Wow, that sounds delicious. That's uh, on Saturday and Sunday. You do Saturday and Sunday from 11 okay, to 3. Okay, my mouth is starting to water on this sandwich, so I can't wait any longer. All right. Is there any way to attack it? Um, because this thing is massive. i got to push it down probably. I usually start from the bottom and just kind of well, wedge it in there. How about I watch you take a bite? Excellent. That's all right. Down. 
Oh yeah, it smashes right. Mmm. I taste that smoke in the mayo. Mm -hmm. That's really, really good. And then that slaw is just enough. Mm. That's a very tasty sandwich. I see why it's your number one. Um, what are we going to make in the drink when we come back from break? Uh, we've got a uh, Vucare coming up with our uh, single barrel rye whiskey from uh, Switchgrass. What is Vucare? Okay. Um, it's actually a re reference to the uh, New Orleans French Quarter. Okay, well, great. Well, we're going to take a break, but when we come back, we're here with Jay from Pat Connolly Tavern, also called Pat's, right here in Dogtown. So I'm going to go ahead and take another bite of my sandwich. You're watching the Ah uh, TV Network. And we're back. We're here at Pat's, and this is Jay, the GM and chef. By the way, the uh, that Pat's crispy chicken sandwich was delicious. Well, I'm glad you um, liked it. And I'm looking here at all of this that's going to go into just one drink. I didn't think there would be that many things that go into one drink. But what are we going to make again? Um, so we're going to make the Vue Carré. Okay. Um, originated at the uh, Carousel Bar down in New Orleans. Um, we feature uh, Pat's single barrel uh, switchgrass two-year rye. Um, just got a nice spice to it. Kind of goes with everything else we have here. Okay. What else is going in it? Um, we've got some uh, some cognac, a little sweet vermouth, uh, Benedictine, which we put in a lot of cocktails because it adds a nice richness to us, and then some uh, Peychaud's bitters, um, kind of a New Orleans style bitter. Okay. Now, when you think of an Irish bar, you don't typically think of New Orleans and that sort of French fare. Uh, how is it that this became popular here at Pat? One of the things that was um, kind of a cornerstone of Pat's when I got here was just that they had a great cocktail program, mm -hmm. good craft cocktails, um, always harking back to good classics um, and just doing building a solid base and then kind of going from there. So this is essentially a riff on a Manhattan okay. um, coming out of New Orleans and so it fits right in with our program. Okay. And is this pretty popular drink here? Um, it is. Um, it's kind of up and coming, especially since we uh, released this switchgrass. Um, Let's talk about, about that. Ago. So th that's what this bottle here is, right? You guys sell this. Yeah, we do. We do this and uh, about three other cocktails um, by the bottle to go, and you know, have your party over at Turtle Park or in the. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you sell those just here only? Um, yeah, right, right here on premises. You can call in or uh, come by and get some. Okay, say the drink one more time. Vucare. Vucare, ladies and gentlemen, be prepared to watch us make a vucare. All right, what do we start All right, with? Well, we'll start with the rye, because okay. it's my favorite. And we're just going to do equal parts, or uh, one ounce of everything we're putting in here. OK. Except for that Benedictine. So I'll take that next. Mm -hmm. One ounce of rye in. Mm. All right, one ounce of cognac next. OK. Going to be any cognac, or is this a special one? Um. It can be. We like that one. It's a little bit lighter, but uh, oh. if you uh, change it up, it'll just change the okay, and profile of the drink a little bit. A little sweet vermouth. Sweet vermouth. Um, Dolan is a good one. I let the Italian ones out there <laughs> that, that do a pretty decent job as well. Okay. All right. And this one we don't need nearly as much, so uh, we've got our bar spoons here, right? Yeah. I'm gonna give the slightest little bit in there. Okay. So a bar spoon and a little more. And what was this last one I'm doing? And that's the uh, Benedictine. There we go. A little much on that one, but it's okay, right? And then you just did some. And then a couple of dashes of patience, just like that. Beautiful. All right. All right. That's all we're putting in there. Okay. Good scoop of ice. And give it a stir. I'm still getting this stirring thing down a little bit, you know, but you did teach me. I mean, you, you do this for a living, I don't. Well, and if you want to come back and do a couple of shifts back here. <laughs> All right. Okay. Probably good there. You know, dilute it with a little bit of water because we have a, a, a oh, there we well go. over fry. I was fry. trying to spin it. See, look at that. Okay. Now what are we going to do? All right. Okay. Now we got our glass here. Just kind of hold that on there. And okay. Oh, that looks good. Right to the top. Got great color okay. on it. Uh huh. And then to garnish, we're just gonna throw a little uh, okay. Luxardo cherry in there. All right. A little orange. Blop. Blop. 
Okay. Nicely done. And then, um, and then an orange peel. All right. So take a big swath. I like All right. that. Yeah, looks good. Okay. Let's take that point at the drink, peel side out, and give it a give it a twist. Okay. A twist. Yep. Get some of those oh, oils yeah, on there. I saw some stuff falling in there. Yeah. Yep. And just drop it in. And that's it. Okay. Now this is called again. The Vucare. He said it nine times on the show, and I still don't know, but Vucare. So uh, I'm going to taste a sip of it first. Okay. Let's, do a, let's do a toast. Okay. Vucare. Oh, that's delicious. That's, that's, yeah, that's really, really good. Yeah. And you mentioned off camera, it's an approachable drink. W what does that mean, approachable? Um, kind of like the take I, t I, uh, I use with all the food. I don't, want to, I don't want people to come in here and, and be afraid to order something that's on the menu. So okay. our bartenders all know basically what goes into everything that we have. And they'll explain it to customers in a way that it's like, OK, it's, it's a great thing. You know, if you've had a Manhattan, you might like this one. So here at Pat's, you, uh, you're open Wednesday through Sunday. You've got the brunch on Saturday and Sunday. But what else do you offer? I think you talked about it upstairs. Yeah, so in addition to the, uh, the food and drinks down here, we've got a great event space upstairs. Um, holds about 45 people. Um, and we can do a range of events. Um, we've got a bar up there. We've got a great menu to go along with it. Um, so if you've got a party coming up, you know, give us a call and uh, <laughs> see what we can do for you. All right, so if the people do want to find out more information about you, how can they find you guys? Um, you can go online to patconnellytavern.com or uh, email us at info at patconnellytavern.com or come by and uh, have a drink and ask for me. Or if you're near Dogtown, the zoo just stopped by right here at the corner yep. of Tam and Oakland. Um, but before we leave, we're going to do a toast. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thanks, I'm sir. Todd Thomas. He's Jay. And Todd's in my kitchen.